Hi, my name is Paul Rifkin. I'm here at the Wakoit Congregational Church, the Parish Hall. We have a farmer's market here every Saturday morning through May 24th. I'm here representing the Monarch Project of Cape Cod. And the concept behind the project is the monarch butterfly, the species, is in danger. And the reason that the butterflies are endangered is basically because milkweed, the milkweed plant, is disappearing across the country. The monarch butterflies winter over in Mexico, in northern Mexico, and then in April they start waking up, they mate, and they begin flying north, and they have this magnificent migration which brings them all the way up to Cape Cod, north to Canada, and then <clears throat> late in the fall, they return to Me Mexico to hibernate again, to the exact same location where they started, except it's not the same butterfly. What happens is they fly up to Texas, the females lay their eggs on the milkweed leaf, and then they die, and then the next generation carries forth. So the, gener the generation that actually returns to Mexico is the great granddaughter or great grandson of the original butterflies. So how do they know to get back to Mexico? I don't know. I think probably God might be the only one who knows the answer to that question. But they're very clever animals considering their brain is the size of the head of a pin. So the, the monarchs, which many people consider to be one of God's most beautiful creatures, are in danger because they can't reproduce on any other plant. When the egg opens up into a caterpillar. The caterpillars eat the leaf of the milkweed plant. That's the only substance that they can find nourishment on. So if there's no milkweed, no, no more monarch butterflies. The milkweed is disappearing on Cape Cod because people are cutting it down because they consider it a weed. And as development uh, grows on the Cape, meaning more buildings, there's less open space. Open space is the open fields, the meadows where the wildflowers grow. So that's being diminished here. People don't, what we're trying to do is educate people as well as give out seed. And what we're trying to educate about is milkweed is a very important thing. Don't cut it down if you see it. It's a beautiful thing. It, it helps the pollination, the pollinators. Monarch butterflies are a major pollinator. Leave the milkweed growing, please, people. Across the country, it's another story. The government is subsidizing um, the growth of corn, which is now used to produce ethanol. So the farmers are taking advantage of that situation by plowing under all the what used to be meadows with wildflowers, which would be, have bees and butterflies. This is all getting plowed under. Corn is being grown. The corn is being sprayed with Roundup and other toxic products, which kill every plant except the genetically modified corn. So it's a trade-off, you know. The government is trying to save money and hopefully help the pl planet by using ethanol. And that, if, if that if actually works, wonderful. Some people question whether the ethanol really is a valuable tool in this regard. But for the monarchs, it's a bad deal regardless. And I think we need to make decisions that are kind of based more on, um, you know, good for all, all creatures, not just for our pocketbooks or for what seems good, you know, or right by a government policy. And if, if, if the monarchs disappear, that's going to be such a sad time for, 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 for civilization. So our project here on Cape Cod is being duplicated all across the country where people are <clears throat> planting milkweed seed in order to uh, revitalize the migration, help the species continue into the future. We here, we're giving away seed because we're very sweet people. 
elsewhere, I think seed is being sold, which is wonderful too. However, it happens. So anyone who wants milkweed seed for your church, for your school, for your backyard, for your neighbor's backyard when he's not looking, come and get seed. We're here at the farmer's markets every Saturday morning from 10 till 2, and we'd be happy to give you seed for free. How can you not come seed for free? As well as the farmer's market, which you see behind me, a lot of beautiful things, a lot of beautiful people. It's fun here.